رسول الكريم وعلى اصحابه اجمعين وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته هو It's good, inshallah. You know, if you're tired, it's good. That's, that's good news because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran, "وَإِنْ سَعْيَهُ سَوْفَ يُرَاهُ." So it is your effort that will be soon judged. Yeah. Uh, and then also Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "وَلَيْسَ لِلْإِنْسَانِ إِلَّا مَا سَعَى." And there is uh, for, for every human or every uh, person is whatever he. Uh, worked hard for. So doing sa'i, sa'i is something that is what we are after, you know, it is not, this is out of Allah's mercy, he is not, not looking at the result, what we get in the end, instead he looks at, you know, what, how much effort do you put in. And, uh, you know, if, if it is easy for you, if it is easy for us, then it's not a big deal. I mean, it's good, you know, you have the energy so you can focus more and so on, but if you are putting more effort into it, if it is difficult, and then you're still standing, uh, this is good, alhamdulillah, you know, at least on the day of judgment you can say that I was doing this effort uh, and you know, this is how you raise in your ranks and so on. So it's, it's a good news, you know, even if you're tired. So, uh, brothers, we will inshallah continue with what we were discussing. We have discussed so far that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this great gift, uh, the Quran, and this is what we are celebrating in this month, especially in this, and we're trying to find Laylatul Qadr, maybe tonight, Wallahu A'lam. Um, so we said that we will look at, you know, when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gave us this gift, and this is a fadl from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, it obviously means that, you know, it, uh, it comes with responsibilities, you know, so there are rights of the Quran on every single Muslim that we need to fulfill. So scholars have told us that there are um, five rights of the Quran, five rights of the Quran. Uh, first is to believe in it, Second is to uh, do the tilala or recitation. The third is to understand it. Uh, fourth is to, uh, sorry, the third is to understand, which includes both uh, pondering over it and getting admonition from it. Uh, the fifth, uh, sorry, fourth one is to act upon it. And fifth is to propagate it, to do the tabliq. And Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, he added a, another one. He didn't add the, uh, the Iman one the first one, but he also said the five rights and he added cleansing the heart from the diseases. That's also part of the rights of the Quran. So let's look at each one of them, uh, maybe, you know, in, in uh, these coming nights, uh, one by one. And this is to the best of the abilities. So I just want to make it very clear. This, this is to best of the ability. So a person, uh, you know, who doesn't even know a second language, for example, who hasn't uh, from this worldly perspective, he's not literate and so on. His, the, uh, what is expected from his is very different than a person like me, you know, who has done PhD and so on. So, you know, his expectation is very different. So, to the best of your abilities, inshallah. But obviously, the sky is the limit. And you know, as Prophet ﷺ has told us, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best amongst you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. So, if you, you know, the ultimate aim is to, if you can uh, dedicate your life, uh, all of your life to the <coughs> learning and teaching of the Qur'an, this is the best of it. So let's look at what Iman is. Uh, Iman obviously as we know is that this is the first and the most uh, important, that's the prerequisite for all other rights. So if you have the Iman, all of the, the other rights flow from it. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, the last three ayah, everyone, uh, most most people have memorized that. You know, uh, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us? Rasulu bima So even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he believed in this book. So Iman has an important implication. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that he believed in this book. Uh, and then he also tells us in Surah Al-Ma'idah or Surah Al-Nisa, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, aminu billahi wa rasoolihi wal kitab alladhi nazzala ala rasoolihi. O you who believe, the people who claim to be believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, believe in Allah is, is uh, his Rasul and the book he sent down on his thing. And you know, and if you are from uh, indo pak area or you know that subcontinent, we used to memorize this, what we call Iman, iman Mufassil and Iman Mujmal. 
in Aman Mufassil was Aman to Billahi wa Malaikatihi wa Kutubihi wa Rasulihi if you have memorized, if you're lucky enough so far. So you know that is part of our Iman. Now three components of this Iman, angels, books and messengers. So first of all, we it, it is our Iman that this is Kalamullah. This is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is sent down in the language that he chose which is Arabic uh, and then from Allah's Kalam he, it became Qawl, Qawl Rasul, uh, Qawl Jibreel alayhi salam. And from Qawl Jibreel alayhi salam, it became Qawl Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All of these are mentioned in the Quran. And from there, it reached us. Now the second part of this faith is that it is reached us in the perfect form. So there is nothing missing whatsoever. And there is, you know, issues about this. So the, the very point that I'm raising it, we know that some uh, amongst Muslims, say that, you know, this is not the Qur'an which was revealed. Uh, they say that, you know, it was, uh, the actual Qur'an is in the form of uh, the, uh, how it was revealed. So the order of the Qur'an was actually how it was revealed. But, you know, uh, this is proven from Hadith that Prophet Wasallam in his lifetime, he assembled the Qur'an as well. So he told the Sahaba where to put every ayah, where to put every surah. And that's, that is, it, it was compiled in the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Not in the form of book, but it was compiled. So this is part of it. But really, brothers, the important thing is that Iman is both tongue and heart. So we say it with the tongue. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi. But really, appreciation in the heart. What does that mean? And as I said, this is a prerequisite for all the other rights. If you believe in this book, then everything else will become very, very easy. So I'll just give one example and then I, maybe, you know, I'll close because people are looking at the uh, clock and so on. So. Now, we know that you know, uh, if, if I put my kids into the best of the schools, that's what is needed for them in this, in this life. So for them to spend, uh, to, uh, to have a very good life, just like mashallah we are having, our belief is that to give them the best education. This is our belief, yes? So based on this belief, we act upon it. Similarly also, if, you, if this is an example that I quoted before as well. You know, we know snakes. Now snakes, if you see a snake, will you touch it? Although we know that 95% of the snakes are not poisonous. You know, it, it is proven in the research, 95% of the snakes are non-poisonous. Yet, we will not touch any snake. Why? out of our just, you know, this is not even 100% conviction, it's not 100% belief, but still we think, you know, it might be poisonous, we don't touch it at all. So that is what the belief is like. So if we really believe in something, uh, then, you know, everything else becomes, uh, you know, accordingly uh, easy, inshallah. So I think I've uh, taken maybe five, seven minutes, but as I said, there are uh, five rights, inshallah, so we will uh, maybe cover the rest of them. Uh, in the coming nights, inshallah.